May the Lord bless everybody once again in Jesus' name. The Lord bless all the men and the women of God. And I respect men of God very well. Shout amen. Shout hallelujah. And we have a wonderful man in our midst, you know, a VIP. Shout hallelujah. You know, when you see somebody that the Lord has lifted and at the same time humble and fear the Lord, church, it means it's great. To me, I don't believe the humility of a poor person. I don't believe it. Because poverty can cause somebody to to be what? Humble. But let the person get something. Then you will know whether the person is rare. Am I right? Because the person needs something. Yes, sir, 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 sir. As soon as he or she, then you will know the rare voice. Shout amen. A certain guy that got married, you know, back home, the lady used to sing. Very wonderful lady. When the lady gets the mic, come and see. Blood, she's my soul. Oh, and come and see. Everybody. Blood, she's A certain guy, you know, a young pastor that was coming. It's a red thing, I'm telling you, that we have to sit on the a whole thing to settle some and the guy, oh, thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful voice. So they got married. They married. They used to live in Tafo, Kumasi, somewhere. Got married. I think three or four days. Yeah. The lady released the rare voice. The rare word? Stupid. Fool. The lady, or you know, the first letter was N. Sister N, what did you just say? He said, stop. He said, are you the one who used to sing? Sing, sing and let me hear. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Church, by the finger of God and by the hand of God, the Lord will bless somebody. Amen. And the man is an apostle of the Lord. Somebody who believed the things of God and at the same time the ambassador, you know, the ambassador of Swaziland. Uh, His Excellency, be on your feet and misses and let's clap our hands for this wonderful couple. Shout hallelujah. Church, and I know the reason why I am saying this. You know, I've been giving him, oh, uh, His Excellency, I will come today, tomorrow, I will be busy, today, this will happen. I said, yesterday, you know, I promised him last week, he said, let me go. I told Mr. Stanley, we went to the place. Then I will say that I believe the humility of somebody that God, church, we, as we all know, Potomac, it says, and forgive me. I have to say it here. And uh, Madame, prepare some, come and see, diamond. You know, and it's quite unfortunate. I was doing something and I couldn't eat. I was in Jerusalem. Shout amen. Church, which place? Po, to, and then a mark. Shout amen. amen. Ah, come and see mansion. Come and see what? Mansion. As soon as we arrive, <coughs> not knowing that you've already spotted us the gate. <coughs> no one they didn't touch it. I don't know if the Holy Ghost that opened it or something. The, the thing that happened to uh, Peter and, and the angels, shout amen. We enter the place. Church, indeed they are blessed. Amen. Shout amen. amen. I did it all. I entered there, you know, Mr. Stanley, you have to sit somewhere. One living room. I don't know, is that the one? One living room, two living room, three, four. Hi! 
Four living rooms. I said, wonderful. Shout hallelujah. Forgive me, I will say all of them. Shout hallelujah. I started anointing the praise, you know, with talk, which is private. Talk, do some things, you know. Anointing the praise. Prophet, now that you are here, you have to enter my bedroom. You cannot, a major prophet, you, don't, you can't leave. Please, went upstairs. Hey! As soon as I entered, I said, hey, this place, his excellency can stand here, I can stand here, and we will play a, a, a soccer. Ha! A bedroom with living room. Church, go and see. I don't want to talk much. As they go and watch, go and see. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Indeed, you know me. When I tell you something, indeed, it's wonderful, church. It's wonderful. Ha! I thought that was the living room, bedroom, living room. Big. Enter there. Ah! I said, thank you, Jesus. Shout hallelujah. I check it out. I looked on the other side, another small living room. Very. Hmm. Look at someone and say, You will get there. Look, look at someone and say, You will get there. Church, and come and see the washroom. I went everywhere. Washroom. It's not like somebody's uh, 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 bedroom. I say, wonderful. Shout hallelujah. So, with all these things, and if the person still humbles himself or herself, honorable prince, <laughs> shout hallelujah. Uh, he went to abroad, and by God's grace, he's back. Shout amen. Shout, honorable prince, you want me to say it? Uh, went to abroad and they knocked him down. Shout hallelujah. Uh, he became sick. Shout hallelujah. Uh, I, you know, we prayed and everything. And now he's back. I think you'll go again. Am I right? They cannot stop you. You'll go again. In Jesus' name. Shout amen. Shout glory be to God. So church, indeed they are blessed. And I pray that one day, one day, you will get there. You can see some houses. Huh? Hey. So do we have something like that on this earth? Mansions all. So when you see somebody, excuse me, with due respect, with one bedroom, studio one, and will lift uh, who are you? Are you Makuhikuo? Am I right? You are good for nothing. You are not my class. You are not my top. Shut up! I will go there again if you want to join me. Shout hallelujah. Because Madam thought that I was coming with more people, you know, dining table, prepare some food. Church. You can be sure I was so tired with food. Different type. So we have to come with our Mr. Stan with no variety, no less than eight. Hey. Then Chris is saying that probably we will. Am I right? You want to go with me? Eh? You want to go? You must marry. You need you need a shout hallelujah. <laughs> I won't take you until you get married. Look onto your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is your time your hour and your season. Shout hallelujah. Now, take your Bible. Look unto somebody and say, the Lord is about to do something special in your life. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse number 3. Exodus chapter what? Chapter 20 and verse Number three. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The second book 
of prophet Moses. Exodus chapter what? And verse number what? Number three. Shout hallelujah. Church, let me tell you this. Look at me before we read. If you are in this room calling yourself as a child of God and if you are still following other gods or different God, you better repent. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. You cannot serve the king of kings, the lord of lords, the owner of the universe, and the one who created the earth, and to still have a small God. It's an insult to God. Change. And if you have any small God, after the service, see me. I, will, I promise you, I will go to your house and take that small God. I won't tell anybody because it's an insult. When, if you want to serve God, serve him. If you want to serve other God, leave God alone. Because you cannot serve two masters. Okay, serving God and serving other God. When your miracle appeared, which kind of God are you going to give thanks? You are not faster than God. We have some people blowing in tongues, read the Bible, do everything. When the hardship time comes or the time of difficulties, they will tell God, Lord, you have really delayed. You don't want to do it fast. I want to help myself. Do not deceive God. Do not deceive God. Serve him alone. Why this end time? You can see some people mentioning the name of God, preaching the word of God. Excuse me, with due respect. Most especially this end time. Some people that call themselves men and women of God, some doesn't have right spirit. But they are still holding the word of God, preaching the Bible. Whom are you deceiving? If you want to be a juju, be a juju. Do not mingle or put juju on the Bible and deceive people because your punishment shall be great. Why don't you seek the face of God? Pray to your God and for God to give you anointing and to release power upon you than to divert and take something from somewhere. Do you know what is going to happen? Your end will be disastrous. Because the moment you put your hand into something, you have put the entire generation, your children plus your wife, everyone, you will die and go to hell, good, and your children, innocent one, will suffer. Look at some of us, the kind of battle we are battling right now, we are fighting right now. It was because of the mistakes of some of our four, four fathers. You are now going to deliverance, praying, breaking things, binding things, destroying something because of somebody's mistake. Church, can we leave that ugly uh, 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 legacy for our children? By the mighty hand of God and by the power of God, I declare unto you today, you must live the tree of righteousness for your children, children. You will die and go 
but none of your children will need deliverance because of the righteous tree. You will bid for your legacy. You will die and go. Maybe one day, one day, your children, some of them will go somewhere and they will call your children. Your father used to be like this. Your father used to be like this. Your father used to have other gods. Your mother used to have it. That is why, the, the reason why all these curses in the whole thing. Church, enough is enough. Some of us, our four forefathers put our heads into something because of the bloodline, blood lineage. Because of what they did, it has affected some of us. Praying, breaking some things, spiritual marriages, you can see so many things. But today, I have a good news for you. Any negativity that has been monitoring your life, the mistakes of our forefathers' test can never punish us. It will never chase us. Today, you are going to disrelocate every curse out of your life and starting from your generation, you shall be a tree of righteousness. You are going to speak unto God. The Father, you cannot stand on their punishment or the evil thing they did and to punish we innocent ones. Shout hallelujah. These days because of quick success. Because of quick fame. Some people that they call themselves men and women of God. Plenty. They have deviated. But let me tell you this. This end time it will be rampant in the system. Whether you like it or not. Do you know the reason why? Because they don't want to pay the price. Everything on this and you must pay. If you need this watch, you must go and pay. If you need suit, you must go and what? Pay. You cannot go to a store and pick somebody. They will call police on you. But paying the price, they don't want to do it. Paying the price in which ways? Living the holy life, prayer, humbling yourself, serve and wait patiently for the right time. They don't want to wait. They need a quick one. When you shortcut in life, you be cut short in life. If you need a ministry that will learn, last, you must learn how to save. Shout hallelujah. Whereby somebody will sit under the leadership and learn some. I sat under my leader for 12 and a half years. Handing his fufu would take me to farm. Seeing serpent, iron the uh, the wife uh, uh, cloth, shout hallelujah. You will finish, he said, You will may the Lord be with you. You will walk from here to London. A book room to Ashton. I don't know, maybe it will be way even. Longer than that. Those who know uh, Kumasi. No lonely for nothing. You'll be singing hallelujah nine times. You'll be walking. Why? Because you know that the Lord has called you. And in those days, what we needed or what I wanted to hear every day and then may the Lord bless you. But these days, the whole thing has changed. The person needs money. When Jesus sent his disciples, Jesus did not give them money, but Jesus gave them power. The moment a minister of the gospel, a pastor, you put your eye or set your eye on money, you will fail. You must think about the souls. How souls will be saved. How people can be delivered from their occulted things and the rest, the Lord will give it to you. 
Everybody shout hallelujah. And the rest, the Lord will what? The Lord will, you don't have to rush about anything. We do respect, excuse me, we do respect it. You know, I don't brag or something. When I say something, I give glory to God. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Pastor Vivian went to Ghana, spent three weeks. I think last week, am I right? Just last week. Somebody went on, Pastor, how are you doing? Oh, I want something to give to prophet. I mean, I'm a miracle, but somebody, Africa. I want something to give to prophet. Just last week. Oh, okay. Uh, I will tell prophet. Oh, get this envelope. Pastor Vivian called me. The person put $20,000. Somebody said, Jesus got $20,000. He said, give it to prophet and the whole thing. Shout hallelujah. Just a gift. Why? Because the Lord used me, there was a time, imparted some things onto the life of that person. The person was nobody, and now he's a millionaire. Shout hallelujah. Just last week, and give it to, you know, the money was with Pastor Vivian, I didn't ask, about three or something days. Church, why? You must first bind into the things of God. Do not place your mind on everything upon money. That is why so many ministers and so many pastors, they are failing right now. Money is true. Money is the will of the gospel, whether you like it or not. But do not put your mind on money. Whereby if you, not see, uh, if you don't see A, you will say that I have seen A. And because I have seen A, it goes in, bring me $500 before I deliver you. That is stupidity. How can you charge somebody before you deliver that person? I don't get it. And I cannot buy anointing oil. Just anointing oil. Small one. Go to Christian shop at $4.99 or $5. And I will come and sell it to you for $50. I'm not condemning anyone. I don't condemn people. But I preach the gospel. I beg you in the name of God, if somebody will sell this oil for you, uh, for what? Uh, $50, please come and put it in the offering bowl. I beg you in the name of God, do not go and buy, uh, and buy it. It's four ninety nine. dollars So if you need direction and when I tell you to buy oil, I will not sell my oil to you. Am I right? I, I, I will have money. I will buy more oil. I will tell them, buy me oil and I will put it. When you come, I will bring my eye. And you will do it. Because I can see it. Uh, you need four bottles of oil. And instead of two, I will mention four. Do not go anywhere. I have one here. It's a special oil from Israel. $50. Am I right? Whereby four is what? $20. And $50, let me subtract it. I have 180. 180, let me sell it to 500 people. 180 times 500. I'll be rich. But at the end of the day, the punishment that will come upon me, <laughs> I cannot even bear it. So, ministers of God, I challenge all of you, we must focus on the souls. How people will be saved and live the rest because Jesus gave them power. He said, do not take any back. Do not take nothing. You must go to the places and preach. When they accept you, my peace shall remain there. Do you know the reason why? When God gives you power, the power will bring people to support you. That is the reason why you are here supporting the ministry. And I can stand boldly to, uh, you know, all over the world and plus restoration members. I have never charged anybody. If I have charged somebody here, come forward and say that prophet told me that I should pay thousand dollars before I receive a deliverance. I am I will be shy. I will be shy to ask you for thousand dollars before I pray for you. I will be shy. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. I challenge you in the name of God. Be vigilant. Because we live in the dangerous world now.
Because I needed the anointing. Twelve and a half years. Insult upon insult. You have to go to me. At midnight, there will be nobody. I will walk by the roadside. And the place was very dangerous. Those days in the book room, they used to kill people. I will not tell my mother. I will be walking, singing hallelujah. Father, may you take me. And as my wife, Pastor Vivian, used to live with my, used to live with my senior pastor. I will go there and do some things. I own the wife's dress and, you know, uh, polish the wife's shoe. And plus my senior pastor. One day, Pastor Vivian came, you know, I didn't know. Uh, 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 prophet. Prophet. I was a prophet. Oh, prophet. Uh, Daddy said, you should polish my shoe. And this woman gave me her shoes. Started bringing some shoes. I look at her and say, You, this lady, you don't respect the anointing. But by the way, because of my senior pastor, come and see, brush. Shout hallelujah. So if I've polished a shoe before, now when I iron her dress, what does it? Uh, uh, uh. And I didn't know her shoe are polished good. I didn't have anything, but not knowing that she was the one that I have to catch. And because I polished the shoe well, you know, when I proposed to her that, can you be my wife? Didn't say, let me go and pray. He said, yes, I do. <laughs> Look at somebody say, from this day onwards. Begin to polish. You know, some men will be stiff. They don't want to. Ah, when my sister sees that I'm polishing my wife's shoe or holding my wife back, they will say that I am uh, 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 Mugu Mumu. Who told you? It means that you are courted. It means that you know what is called. There is nothing on this for your wife to bring the dress and honey. Can you iron it? What a sweeter thing. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Shout hallelujah. Church, what am I saying this? I challenge you today. Do not let anybody deceive you. And to solve you from God. That you serve. Our God is real. And our God is a truthful God. Our God holds power. <laughs> Who irons Ethel's dress today? You? Are you sure? Where is Ethel? I will ask Ethel. When we meet at the, uh, I will ask Ethel. Shout hallelujah. Can I have some men? The men. Who, who ironed the wife? You, you did it today before you. You, uh, let me see that. If you don't know how to, uh, you know, some, some men, some men will give the seed and say that wife, iron it. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Your wife will cook when it comes with iron. Iron it. You are not bigger than uh, 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 ironing your wife. And Am I right? Shout hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, do it. If God permit, one day, one day I will stand by the door. Those who are married, when you are coming, you have to hold your wife's back. And, and hold your wife's hand. Shout hallelujah. I will stand by the door and examine those things. Shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Am I speaking to somebody? I, I tell some of us, when we go to a restaurant with our wives, it looks as if our, house, our wives, they are like a house help. Am I right? You will be, uh, 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 be what, and your wife will be, will be back. Am I right? You open the door, and if your wife doesn't take care, the door even with, am I right? Let your wife be behind you. Open the door. Stand there and let your wife enter first. You must protect your wife. And as soon as your wife enter, you must rush and put the chair. Am I right? It better get a get her, please. I beg you. It's a serious time. Shout hallelujah. Eh? Put the chair. Only can you sit? But as a man, as soon as you put your chair, you will sit. 
and your wife will be standing there. Look at somebody and begin to put that chair. Hey, Rose. <laughs> Rose, you are touched, eh? Everybody shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, by the finger of God, do you know the reason why? Because you have to protect your wife. You have to what? Protect your wife. Everybody shout hallelujah. You have to protect your wife. When the waiter brings some, uh, uh, what do they call it? The many. Let your wife uh, order first. Do not say, uh, waiter, you know, uh, give me a bar, a bar, and pandeyam, you know. Uh, uh, mama, uh, give it to me. And your wife will be sitting down there. Tell the waiter, ask my wife first. Before, shout hallelujah. Everybody shout glory be to God. I, am I speaking to somebody? I don't know if I'm speaking to someone. If I'm speaking to somebody, shout hallelujah. And you, some of the women, too, when we do, you must appreciate it. If you don't appreciate it, they will not do it again. At times, they think that it's our responsibility. Instead of you say thank you, will not say thank you. You'll be standing there. Appreciate. Shout hallelujah. If not, your husband will not what? Do it again. Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, do not serve any other gods. I challenge you. Church, and what the Lord can do, Juju can't do it. Put this thing in your mind. Look at those people that they have put their hands into some things. I am telling you with that reason, but they have nothing to show off. I'm telling you. So, you better pay the price or the rightful price and to get it from the Lord than to divert your ways. It's like a woman that will use juju thing or charm to get your husband. Charm will not last. Two, five years, it will be finished. Excuse me, some can go to Afar people and get a charm to charm their husbands. And when the charm is about to uh, fade away, they will go to Afar people again. And the Afar guy will request that before I do, I have to sleep with you first. And because they don't want to break their marriage, they will sleep with Afar people. Look at their teeth. When you go there, let the environment tell you that whether they can help you or not. Just ordinary math and look at their teeth. And because you want to maintain your marriage, excuse me, you allow uh, such a thing. Are you not skip? Are you not stopping? Use love. Use the fear of God. And it will never fail. But with the juju thing, there is no way it will last. So if you are here, eh, maybe or maybe having something like that, but the power vested in me, I destroy it. When you go home, take it, it won't work. I've already destroyed it. Because you cannot charm somebody's uh, uh, son. Or somebody's daughter. Enough is enough. Everybody shout hallelujah. How can you serve other God? It's an insult. The book of Exodus chapter 20. Let me read one up to three so that you understand. And God spoke all this ways. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above all on the earth. Am I right? Burn it all in the waters below. 
You shall not bow down to worship them. Or worship, uh, you shall not bow down, am I right? To worship what? Them. Or to, to what? Or to what? Or to what? And look at this. For I, the Lord, your God, I am a jealous God. I am a what? I am a what? Listen to me. The day you open your mouth and say to the Lord, that Lord, may you forgive my sins. Write my name in the book of life. I am your child. That was exact day you became the wife of Jesus. And this jealousy thing, we have two types of jealousy. I pray that I can explain it to you. We have the holy one and the negative one. The things that you love or you cherish, you always jealous about those things. Am I right? You will not allow anybody to just come and touch it just anyhow. So do not tell that woman that you are too jealous. Hey, let her protect the husband. Because you live in the dangerous world. Shout hallelujah. And these are the things I will stand upon and advise also some of our women and some of our men. There is difference between getting it and how to maintain it. When you fast and fast and fast and pray, Lord, my husband, 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 my husband. In the olden days, those days I used to pray in a certain school. I would go there at uh, 9 o'clock and I would leave 3 a.m. I'm on Quartier Park. Pray for seven hours, six hours. Because people used to go there. You wouldn't sleep. That was the pain, the price to get the anointing. Lord, I need your strength. Lord, I need. You can see some women. There was a time I saw some women, three women, you know, who was passing by. Church, I thought that they were blowing in tongues, not knowing that they were speaking my dialect. I thought that was tongues. So why the time I started moving and the whole thing, I hear and Mikuru, 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 Knowing that Lord, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, I thought it was a tongues. I said, this woman, they are very dangerous. Lord, Mikuru, 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 my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, fast. Say, Father, may you answer them. So with all this prayer, when God gives you that man or when God gives you that woman, how to maintain it really matters. The same way you grab that man in the Lord is the same way you have to maintain him. The time you needed that man, look at the way you used to do. Polish upon polish. Am I right? Polish. Your shoe, your dress, the kind of your perfume, cologne. Because you needed that man. Am I right? Not that he what? You believe or you think now that I have him. So there is no need for me to. You used to retouch twice a week. Now no retouch. Get into three months. Oh, my husband feared the Lord. Nothing can take my husband. I want you to know that he is a woman being. He's not a tree. He can see things. When he goes to office, he sees those women that walk. Am I right? We'll be holding a, 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 a far. Am I right? Yes, sir. Come and see. Nice leg. You know, something you can see from here. Am I right? And they will drop it, sir. How may I help you? And your husband will be seeing those things. He's a woman being. So when he comes home, he has to see the same. 
Am I right? And you'll be sitting on the car watching Jonathan Ram, and your dress will cover your. Uh, 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 uh. Like a seraphim and seraphim pastor. Am I right? You will tie your hair and take your earrings. Your, your, your shirt will cover your ribs. Am I right? You will, uh, a whole thing will cover your neck. Your husband will not see the two type of the uh, touch, uh, touch lights. And it will cover, uh, it will be here. Am I right? Honey, how are you? I miss you. Look at this. Look at somebody and say, when you go home today, things must change. Everybody shout hallelujah. Am I right? Yeah, before even you put some things, you know, you'll be at the kitchen prepare some things. Am I right? There are some things let your husband see. Kitchen, kitchen no. Am I right? You wear mazi. In the olden days, the mazi adokodon, from from your neck to your. Uh, uh. Why? Have you received any contract from white garment people? <laughs> Wear your nine shorts. Stand by the kitchen. Am I right? Something attractive. Am I right? When your husband comes to the kitchen, instead of him to take kebab, we'll be looking at you. Because your body belongs to your husband. And as a husband, your body belongs to your what? Your wife. Shout amen. If not, if not, somebody can do something. Do not come and tell me that my husband feared the Lord. He's a woman being. He's a what? He's a human being. So when you get it, maintain it good. You can have a good car. Mercedes, you can name them. Church, if you don't service your car, it can be good car, powerful car, but it will break down. Why? Servicing will make the car last longer. That is... <laughs> That is maintaining. So if the Lord has blessed you with that man or the Lord has blessed you with that woman, maintain it. Do not say that if you want to go, go. You have nowhere to go. He will go. Or she will go. I beg you in the name of God. Do not serve any other God. Because our God is a jealous God. Shout amen. Our God is a jealous God. Church, sit down and just think about this. How can I go to the forest and cut a, a, a wood like a beam? Wood. Am I right? And I would design the eye design the nose. I myself will design it. And by the time I finish, I will put it and pour blood on it. And I myself that made this will bow down to worship my own handy. That doesn't make sense. He said, we should not bow before any other image except only him. 
Because our God is a jealous God. These days you can hear some things. Oh, this one went to a farmer. Oh, this one. What did they have? They have nothing. I want you to know that the power God has given unto us is more powerful than their powers. Because that is why the word of the Lord says that our life has been placed in Christ. And Christ is in the Lord. And if any Jujuma wants to kill you, the person must first kill God. And take Jesus. And use the Holy Ghost that has already wrapped you. And who can do that? Do not give up. Do not let anybody deceive you to serve any other God. You must wait patiently for your God and see what he will do for you. Because the word of the Lord said that it is the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and the Lord are the no sure. I cannot take you and to do people and buy nice car will be sitting, am I right? Driving it. Where bad spirits will be sitting in my in my car instead of Holy Ghost. Everybody shout hallelujah. But when you wait patiently on God and when He bless you, church, you will never experience any sorrow. Somebody can have business. Oh, and somebody will give the direction. You know, with this kind of business, you need something. Within a child of God, a child of God, for your business to progress, you need two things. Listen to me. Skillfulness and Jesus, that's it. The way you arrange your things, the way you strategize your things, the way you will set up your things, and plus Jesus, that's it. And do good work, that's it. Because the moment you mess up somebody, that is the same thing the person is going to take what? Take it out there. It will collapse your business. Treat your customers good. And plus Jesus, everything is set. And what do you have to go and take to do? Put it under your, this thing, uh, under your chair. You, you will go to your work and you'll be taking it. <laughs> Look, uh, you'll be doing something seven times. So guess what? It will not work. And at the end of the day, they will disgrace you. At the end of the day, they will kill you. But when you put everything in the hands of God and rely upon God, your business and everything, church, the Lord will never let you down. God will never what? Let you down. In everything, think about the foundation. When your foundation is not right, you must rather demolish everything and build it again than to build it on top of a wrong foundation. One day, one day, it will collapse. If our foundation is Christ and our foundation is God, the storms will come, winds will come, so many obstacles but the church will stand still because our foundation is Christ. Let Christ be your foundation. Your business, let Christ be your foundation. Other people will use some things against you, but it will not work. When we started this place, breaking the, uh, you know, the time we used to worship at the two uh, units, there was a time a police officer called me. I think I told Mr. Joe, uh, our police officer called me. Are you Frank? I'm in front of your, are you the pastor? I'm here right now. We were patrolling this place. We saw a certain lady. I said, which one? He said, the lady, so, so, so mentioned the lady's name. He said, we saw the lady putting some things and we did it. So I said, please, can I talk to the lady? Somebody who used to come here. 
came and was putting juju. Why? To break people. To drive people. Juju. I said, but what are you doing over there? It was 11.38. He said, oh, Pastor, I came to see if there is somebody here. I said, but the officer said, since that day, the person disappeared up to today. Called himself. I'm going to church. I'm going to worship the Lord. Church, there will be so many storms. They will put some things, you walk on it. They will put some things, you will walk, you will not see. But nothing will penetrate you. Do you know the reason why? Because the one that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. They will put some things on your chair. You will sit and nothing will happen. They thought that the next day you will sit on the wheelchair. Which wheelchair? May the Lord deliver you in Jesus' name. Everybody shout hallelujah. Am I prophesying to somebody? Nobody cannot do you nothing. Shout hallelujah. Not knowing that the officer, you know, called Tunde too. And you know Baba Tunde. <laughs> ah, prophet. Ah, wonders will never. Ah, prophet. <laughs> As a back, I will take you. Ah, prophet. Ah. It's only him that knows the person. I think, did I tell you? I think I told you guys, but you don't know the person. Am I right? And Pastor Vivian, shout hallelujah. A lady. Church. They will try you, but nothing will happen. They will try you, but nothing will happen. Can I tell you this? The blessings of God is like a palm tree. It takes his time. And he releases it gradually. And the moment you get there, winds will come, storms will come, Hurricane Frank will come, but nothing will pull you down. Because the Lord will establish you on the rock. May your God see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. Be on your feet and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Everybody shout hallelujah. Does it make sense unto somebody? Do not be afraid of what they will do. No one. Because I asked her what happened, I came here living so and so because of you know she disappeared up to today. Church, if the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? If you are here and when somebody is deceiving you, you know you serve God all right, but every year they will call you back home, you must send something and to thank thank who? Some of you will back house, change it into money and come and drop it before God. And tell God that, Father, may you fight my battle for me. And see what the Lord will do in your life. What do you have to compromise? You know, let's give what belongs to uh, Caesar. Let's give, let's give what? Do not compromise. Because you cannot serve two masters. You must serve the Lord. Shout hallelujah. At the right time, I will show you this. The dangerous or the dangers. And whereby somebody will serve other gods. Church is very dangerous dangerous. Shout hallelujah. Do you know the reason why? Serving other gods means you've already put God aside. That father, you have nothing to do with my business. And God will wash his hand. Because now you are on your own. And when something happens to you, you cannot go and call God. Because you have another master. Then I would rather serve my master God and do what I want to do. That does not mean you have to sin or fool. So that when something happens, I can run to him. Than to kick him and serve other God. Maybe somebody gave you something. You have some water. You believe that gives you luck. And something inside. You wash your face. Oh, charm, charm. Hey, it will destroy your beauty. After the service, see me. I will go. I will not tell anybody. I don't do that. I will go with you. You have it under your bed or maybe something. Because of fear, so many men these days, they have beat around their waist. But beat belong to women. (laughs) 
After the service, see me. And we will drop everything away. And your life will never be the same. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. May you lift up your right hand. And let me bless you. Are you really blessed? Yes. Are you really blessed? Yes. If you are blessed, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Look at somebody and say, do not serve any other God. You must serve only him. So by the mighty hand of God, place your hand into your pocket and say this after me. Say this after me. It's not your tithe or neither your offering, but by the direction of the Holy Ghost, say this after me. Kula bababa. Listen to me. Specifically, somebody can leave this a token of $20. I didn't hear 50. I didn't hear 100. I didn't hear anything. A token of 20. Lift it up and say this after me. Please. I know God has blessed you. You can give more than that, but this is what I heard. Do it accordingly and it shall be done. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. Any kind of powers against my business, against my life, and the life of my children. By this altar, speak on my behalf. Come and drop it by the Lord's altar.